the president of my country likes to grab women by the pussy. <laughs> Apparently that's okay. I mean, we know it's not okay. I mean, before I continue this part, is everyone here okay with me saying the word pussy? I mean, I meant the women in the room, so... <laughs> guys don't really have a say in this thing. <laughs> Only because, like, I'm sure, guys, you know that we are able to refer to our genitals in public however we want. Dick, prick, knob, schlong, sausage, meat rod, staff. Like, there is a whole literal... That's why it's called a dictionary. That's how many names <laughs> we have for our genitals, right? Now you notice women have to be a lot more reserved in public when they refer to their genitals, lest they be judged by other people. Like, my vagina, my JJ, my foo-foo. Like, I have seven aunts all over the age of 50 and they still call it a sixpence. Like, that's how, it's a very weird West Indian thing. Now I only bring this up because my manager, great manager, she feels sometimes when men say the word pussy, they're being very aggressive. You normally hear it in pornography and stuff. So I just wanna say for the purposes of this next bit, Pussy just stands for the power of universal sustenance and salvation. Yeah! All right. Cool. So now that we have that context, you know, I would like to think most of you know that despite what the president was recorded in saying, you should not be grabbing women by the pussy. Unless. Like, let's say we're going on a hike, taking in some fresh mountain air. Suddenly your partner slits on some loose rocks and she goes head first, pussy last, over that cliff. <laughs> now it's time to think fast. Baby, no! Ah! Woo, that was close. I almost lost you, man. These pussies are amazing. No wonder they're the cradle of our civilization. So strong and durable. Only something like this could give birth to our entire race. Well, one thing's for sure. I found your clearest when it counted. Let's finish this hike, girl. That might be okay. Or anybody here like going camping, great outdoors, music festivals? Right, let's say you went camping for the weekend and as a guy you're setting up your tent for the weekend's festivities and as a man you lay down next to your partner, nay, your goddess, thinking to yourself, I'm so lucky to be in the presence of a woman and this close to a pussy. Because as a man, I gotta be honest, pussy's the best thing in the world to me. At its best, sweet like honey. At its worst, kind of fishy. <laughs> Either way, you're gonna attract bears. Now. They're fans of both, right? You see? Let's say a bear wanders onto the campsite trying to snatch your goddess away by the pussy. Now it's time to man up and you say, hey there bear, you might be smarter than an average bear, but that's not your pussy to grab. No honey for you. Get out of here, you fucking perv. Because unfortunately in today's world, a lot of our bears are in fact pervs. Did nobody else think it was strange that Yogi and Boo Boo have hats and ties, but no pants? <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, bright red t-shirt, no pants. Paddington Bear, the worst of them all, goes around in a trench coat hanging out in train stations. <laughs> Going up to little girls, you want some marmalade sandwiches, little girl? It's fucking weird. I'm glad you guys went with me on that whole pussy thing. Well, most of you did. I feel like some of you didn't. Do you not like my pussy reference, madam? Bit strong, bit too rich for your blood. Yeah? That's okay, that's the word that's been created. So you have to have a problem with your own pussy. You embrace that, okay? It's yours. I mean, you rent, sir, you don't, okay? You can't, can't own a vagina, okay? It's freehold, that means the queen at the top of that pussy owns it. That's how that works. 